Wanted to show you really quick how you can import a GEDCOM to Ancestry or to MyHeritage. So let's start with Ancestry. I've already signed in, so make sure that you're signed in when you do this because you definitely want to import it into your login, I mean your site. So here we've got, what I do is I click over here on Family Trees and I've got a couple trees already. And then on these things, you can start a new tree. You can import a tree from Family Search. This feature is not working yet. This is just once you are actually signed in through Family Search and you can send information back and forth from Ancestry. But right now, you can't do the import tree yet. I tried it and it doesn't work, but it will eventually. But I've heard that it's going to be just the four generations, and we'll have to show that one later. But if you want to, if you have a JETCOM, maybe you get one from your aunt or someone, or you're helping someone and they have a genealogy program and they have a JETCOM, then what you do is just click this Upload a JETCOM right there. It's super easy. So that'll just spin. And then right here, you just need to choose your file. So I have a file on my desktop that I just barely did and it's called Patterson. So did you see I actually clicked the desktop because that's it says where do you want to open this at? And then I'm going to come down and select the JETCOM. And here's this Patterson.ged. So I'd click on that and do open. So as you can see now, choose file, it says Patterson.ged. And then I accept the submission agreement and then I just upload it. So it will just be uploaded. And did you see it says, please don't close the browser window because it may take a few minutes, which doesn't really take too long because it's almost done. So it says right here, Patterson 99% completed, and now it's finished. So I can actually go to the tree. Let me see if it comes up under here right away. It may not, oh yeah, Patterson, there it is. Patterson, so I can go to that tree and, and look at that now. So anyway, that's how you do it on Ancestry. That's how you would upload a JETCOM. And let me show you on MyHeritage. It's pretty similar. So here's MyHeritage. And I'm signed in. Make sure that you're signed in again. And to do this, if you want to upload a, import a JETCOM, there's a couple ways. You can, you can manage your trees right here and do it from here. Or you can import it into just where it says import JETCOM. So let's... Um, well, let me just show you the managed trees. This is the same as Ancestry. Not exactly the same, but it shows right here that right now I have one tree in. Let me see. I don't think I have any other ones. If you scroll down on the right side, let's see if I've got... Yeah, that's the only one I have. So you can put other trees in. Here you can add a family tree right here. See so if I do add family tree. It'll, it'll ask you different questions of how you want to start one. So if you've already created a family tree in another genealogy program, and then you just do pick. And then it comes back to this screen just to import a JETCOM. So that's a little bit longer way to do it than if you just click the family tree and then do import JETCOM right there, you'll get the same thing. It'll come to the same thing. So it might be a quicker way to do it than to go to manage and um, that way. So let's go ahead. This is the same thing that I just showed you. You just browse your computer. And again, I had it on the desktop, and that's where it's, it says open. And there's where the desktop shows. So I just come down and find the file, which is this one. And then I just upload it. So this will give me a JETCOM, another tree. Here it says it's successively uploaded. And then if I go to Manage Trees, it should show me that I have two different trees right here. So, and if you don't want to, this is actually someone that shared their JETCOM with me, so I actually don't want to keep it, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. 
because I don't want to keep it. But anyway, that's just a quick way of how to upload your import your